fans know Gus Warland as the Larrikin radio host making us laugh each morning, but away from the microphone, the funny man does his part in raising awareness for an all too important cause. After losing a friend to suicide, the presenter and author created Gotcha for Life, a foundation aiming to reduce suicide rates in men and boys. It's a program that even has Hugh Jackman singing its praises. Gussie and I, Gussie's my best mate, right? He's been, we've been through with each other, but he started a foundation a few years ago called Gotcha for Life. And Gussie, I'm just so proud of you, of what you've done with that organisation. It's so important. And as you always tell everyone, never worry alone. So uh, I love you, Gussie. And good on you, mate. Never worry alone, I like that. Today on World Suicide Prevention Day, there hasn't been a better time to remind our sons, brothers and fathers that talking is totally fine. Hello, Gus Wallen. G'day, Larry. Hi, Hi. Gus. Good to see you, mate. I love that Hugh calls you Gussie. I know. I've got a Gus, I, I call him, I call him <laughs> Gussie. <laughs> yeah. Mate, you created Gotcha for Life after losing a friend to suicide. Um, this devastation is faced by so many Aussies. Every day, every hour, people are struggling with this. Yeah, we lose six beautiful Aussie blokes every single day. We lose two beautiful women as well. The number actually is 8.6 per day we lose to suicide. The number one way to lose your life if you're an Australian male between 15 and 44. So just listening to that stat should be enough for most people to realise that we've got a massive problem in this country and we need to get the emotional muscle to have a conversation, to tell people that if things are a little bit tough, You've got to tell them, and tell them when it starts to get tough, not when you're really down the tubes. How are you finding? How are you getting that message out, Gus? Because it's a really, it's a nice message, and it's a seemingly a simple one, a simple one to say, maybe not so simple to implement. Yeah, that's right. Well, we put on blokes' nights. We put on a program called the Tomorrow Man Program, mm -hmm. which goes into schools. So we're touching about twenty-five thousand school kids every year, wow. and we're saying to them, it's okay not to be okay. So you don't have to have all the answers. The pressure that comes around that people listening now, mums and dads, with the HSC coming up around the corner, it doesn't matter how they go right now. They can bumble their way through it and come through it. Why are we putting all these traditional pressures onto kids? Let them know that it's OK to work their way through things in life. And men find it very hard to take the mask off. Very, very hard to show any vulnerability, and that's what we need to do. And are we starting to see a cultural and a shift away from the tradition? It's OK not to be OK. We're seeing it. I think the awareness is there, Larry, but I don't think we're doing enough to really yeah. deal with it properly, and it needs to be in schools. Just like every, every kid should do maths and English and oh. science, they should be doing something on wellness. It should just be part of the natural of the national curriculum. Yeah, and Hugh Jackman helps to have... Like, you've been yeah. good friends in school, yeah, right? Yeah, we're at Pimble, uh, Pimble Puppy together, all kindy. So the first day of school, we said, OK, grab a, grab a kid by the hand, and it just happened to be Jacko. And he was my best man, I was his best man, and like he, he, I'm going down on Friday to be one of his guests when he gets his AOM or his knighthood or whatever it might be. He's just an absolute champ, and it's great to have him on board. He's, yeah. uh, he's our patron, and he's someone... He was at our board meeting yesterday at his house because he's in the country at the moment. Yeah. Um, it's just great to get him and his head around it because he's not just a talented bloke, but he's super intelligent. Does he do a good snack for a meeting? You know what, he got Speedo's Cafe yeah. at Bondi no. to bring up the yeah. croissants oh. and all that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those little mini burgers, as you would have got. Yeah. Oh, okay. when, when you first grabbed his hand in primary school, was it? did you... Did you go, that's a real jazz hand. That's a great hand. <laughs> he, was like, he, was doing, he was doing this at the time. So. If we put, and you wear that, this hat, Gotcha for Life hat very well, and of course we know that you're very heavily involved in sport as well. You're here on the couch and talking about important issues, the, the passing of Danny Frawley. Yeah, very, very sad. Very sad and, um, you know, a lot of people now are just saying he was the life of the party. <laughs> he was someone that you just love to be around and to, to see that situation to leave a wife and children it's just so sad but i'm sure we'll hear more of that over the next few days as people investigate what happened there yeah okay uh, mate we can't have you here without talking about cricket of course anything you want to say well what thanks do you want to 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 what to the conversation? Pretty good. um i haven't slept very much over the last month or so Never obviously right, and right. steve smith spent all the time that he was sort of penalised by Cricket Australia. Yeah. Um, he spent that with me going into school, being open, being vulnerable and teaching kids. I've got no doubt that he saved a lot of lives and have a look at how free he is now. His mind is so clear and he's now Donald Bradman, so I'm so pleased for <laughs> If you're only allowed to have one best friend at the moment, would it be a 
Jack out or it's still, it's still it's still Jack out. Oh, right. oh yeah. good question, yeah. though, Larry. So I like to get in the hard questions. <laughs> he's, looking, he's looking to put a, a driver wedge. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you met Jack out. We were on the boat together not so long yeah, ago. Yeah. We had Talking a lovely lunch this, together. We, it, was, it was a terrific lunch. Talking about this exactly got you for life at every level. Yeah. It was it was phenomenal to hear both of you guys talk in tandem about such an important cause. But you say Steve so. put in the, the, the hard yards for yes. you. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's he's awesome tremendous. to hear that. He actually rang the radio station yeah. and said, look, I'd like to get involved if Gus can give us a call. We had a chat and he did oh, tens and tens of schools for us. Yeah. And oh my God, young boys cool. sitting there like sponges going, this is Steve Smith. It's okay if I cry. It's okay if I show vulnerability. You can't tell me that that's not going to help kids that's move forward. That's powerful stuff. It and um, we've got to congratulate you too. Uh, ten years since you started at Triple <laughs> yeah. as of last month. You, did you celebrate? What did you do? Yeah, we had a couple of beers, as you can imagine, at Triple M. We in had the a good time. In the show? Yeah, you in were the at about 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not allowed to drink on air, mate, so obviously oh, against all codes. Yeah. But at 9 o'clock we had our first sip, and it just continued during the day. It was great. You're with Moon Man fun. now, right? That's, moon Man yeah, is moon awesome. Man. And Jess as well. Yeah. Jess is fantastic. And Chris Page, who's been with us for nearly nine years, had his second baby yet. Yesterday, so a big shout out to Paige and his uh, wife and young son Oscar. Oh, Good stuff. Have we covered enough ground in this chat? I love like hanging with you guys. It's very yeah, easy going. From a really good interview, just to like a chat. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve minutes over, but it's great. That's good. Mate, lovely to see you. Such Thank a you, Larry. Cause and uh, always happy to have you here to talk. Thank about. you and thanks, Kylie. Thanks, Gussie. Good on you. Uh, for more details on Gotcha for Life, head across to our website. Such a great cause. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away. Now.